let's give this another try. Are we functioning? I'm sorry. <clears throat> well, that's the, let's be honest, it's all going to disappear anyways. Um, OBS completely crashed. I'm not sure how or why, but it did. That was, and nothing never happened. Everything's fine. <clears throat> We're all here. Everything's great. Nothing crashed. What are you talking about? We just, we just had Parkasaurus music as the beginning music instead of, you know, Spotify. Totally. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. I'm sorry. Uh, I think the sounds are better. What do they sound like? Is this bad? How does this sound? Should I turn it down? What are the thoughts? Should we do the tutorial again? I feel like we should. We get little box things when we're doing the tutorial. Let's do it again. <clears throat> oh, he caught a thief and he, was, and he got rid of him. Okay, so it's still actually doing the original, I think? Hold on, let me... Um... Exit. I guess reset? Yeah, let's reset on both. Hold on one second. I'm sorry. I had, a, I had to sneeze really loudly. It was one of those ones I could feel it coming and I was like, huh? Alright, obviously we only played a little last time, but I would, I do want to go through like the tutorial again. You guys will have to, ooh, this is loud. You guys will have to tell me, like, if it's loud or not. Alright, Commander Ollie here. It's nice to meet you, human. Welcome to your first dinosaur park. I will be looking into ways we can enhance the well-being of our dinosaur friends. This looks like a big empty area to set up a dinosaur park. There's, yeah, there's quite a lot of garbage around but every great dinosaur has to start somewhere. But first, let us try navigating around the park is easy, easy and important. Let's give it a try. All right. So we gotta pan the camera. Ooh, looking around. Look, 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 at, look at that trash. Look at that trash. Let's rotate uh, around the trash. Q and E. Rotating around that trash. I did it. <laughs> All right. Science Officer Luca reporting for duty. It's almost time to meet your first dinosaur. I'm excited to see how their biological systems function in this atmosphere. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Commander Ollie said that we should set up the exhibit first. Exhibits are where the dinosaurs live. You're, you design your exhibits to match your dinosaurs' need and increase dinosaur happiness. All right, for example, create a nice one. Yeah, with a wood fence. All righty. Thank you for bringing that stuff back so I could. I like that it does give you like the idea of where things are. It's like this is where it is. Just so you know. Rated our first exhibit. Tax here. <laughs> Got three little dudes. Three little dudes. What is with the internet today? It is all over the place. It was just fine, but now it's like, no, I'm not gonna be fine. <laughs> Alright, so I piloted the crash ship into your planet. Your money is very shiny. <laughs> uh, we should really be collecting as much of it as possible. I in I in invented a way to collect these coins called bins called donation boxes. Who would have thought it? A donation box. Employee building. Where's the donation box? There we go. Put one here. Put one here. 
All right, so now we just need to place our first dinosaur. So it's a Stegosaurus or a Triceratops. Will it have any opinions? Bring your opinions now. Obviously, I have to do the Triceratops. Or Josh will watch this later and scream at me. Alright, so the town is a great place to buy food, accessories for your dinosaurs, or good loans. You can visit the town at any time during the day, even at night time, from pets. Alright, so we're going to start with our little triceratops. Isn't it cute? Alright, so you need to go to town. You need to go to the vegetables. And is there a certain one? They just say to buy plants. Okay. And we'll just buy plain old plants. Alright, so now we need to go back and build a feeder. Uh, there are many different types of dino feeders. Upgrading and researching new dino feeders gives various bonuses to your dinosaurs. Uh, your new dino is a vegetarian, so make sure to get a vegetarian feeder. You into the veggies? Here, there we go. Here is a feeder for you. I'm gonna put it towards the entrance to where they would be able to refill up pretty quickly. All right, caring for your dinosaur, your dino best friend is a lot of work. Employees are great help by doing many of the tasks in the park. Vegetarians are prim pri are the oh, vegetarians. Yep, vegetarians are the primary caregivers. Veterinarians are the primary caregivers for your dinosaurs. Let's hire a vet. Well, brain. Where are you at today? Alright, so we want resumes. We're going to look at the vets. He is... Oh, yeah, there's like more things in their resume from last time, it feels like. Oh, wow. Walados, I love your hair. Walados is actually very quick. Um, not good at digging, though. Rosa? Pretty good. Mm. Uh, how much is... The okay, they're all about the same price. I guess let's go with uh, Rosas. All right, so <clears throat> work ethic is the where they will find their stuff, but you can assign their tasks. That's nice. Boop. Oh, look at him. He's already working. So let's hatch the egg. Oh, look at our little friend, Francis. All right. Um... Hold on one second. Hold on a one millisecond, I got you. Alright, alright, I'm sorry. I'm back. Everything's fine, I'm back. Alright, so, the exhibit pain, pain, panel, pain, I don't know, is a great tool to inspect the type of biomes and biodiversity in your exhibit. Every dinosaur species has a particular biome they, preser they preserve, yep, they prefer to live in. You can create a biome in the exhibit by first placing the base tile and then morphing the biome by modifying the wetness and the terrain. All right, Ollie. All right, drag the grass tiles around the exhibit. Boop. So then we need to add water. Can we just go boop? Yeah. Because 
He wants forest. What does he want? What do you want, dude? Oh, okay, he wants rainforest. I see, I see. We want to add more water to make it into a rainforest. I see, I see, I figured it out. All right, so every biome has the ideal ratio of trees to bush to rocks. The ratio is called the exhibits biodiversity and contributes to your dinosaurs exhibit score. Trees, bushes, and rocks can only live in particular biomes. Note that trees, bushes often need to be near water sources. Hopefully, am I echoey sounding now? <laughs> or is it just in my own head because of this room not having a lot of stuff in it? Just just, you know, just wanted to know. All right, so let's get some trees. I'm gonna put them, you know, all over the place. And then also some bushes. How many bushes do I actually need? Okay, and then rocks. Done. All right, so time to open up the park so guests can visit. Uh, you can close the park at any point. Just remember, guest gives donations and buy tickets. All right, let's close some of this stuff. We don't need all this open. Open park? Ooh, I can change the colors of things? Hold on, I'm getting sidetracked. Fun. There we go. I made it better. All right, so a janitor is a key member of your park staff. A janitor can repair fences, pick up garbage, empty toilets, and more. A janitor automatically does tasks around the park, such as picking up garbage. Since you already said that. All right. So let's go get our person. Janitor. Which janitor do we want? <laughs> I feel like he <laughs> da -da, is rocking. Rocking everything. So let's be honest. Gammon is probably the best we're going to get. He doesn't have much of a personality, though, but let's be honest, none of them really do. Mm. Yeah, let's go with you. Alright. We got Gammon working away. There we go. Quest complete. So now we just have to make some money. There's speed up button. Yes, there is. Oh my god. That's right noises. Yeah, give us money. All right. So nothing can ever go wrong in a dinosaur park. Oh, I feel like it. Especially movies about dinosaur parks. Trust me. Just in case, how about we get our security some practice? Just in, you know, you know, in case one of our dinosaur best friends decide to adventure outside of their exhibit. All right, so we get to learn how to tranquilize a dinosaur. Getting our security. What we got going here? 
I still think I'm gonna get you. Gunnaseer or something? Gunseer? Not sure how to say that name. I'm sorry, lady. Alright. Took on the dinosaur. Boop. And we need to request. Oh, it's closing. Cool, thanks for all the charts. Alright. Oh, next day. I forgot about the whole next day thing. Alright. Oh, here we go. Equest tranquilization. Feels kind of mean since the poor little guy wasn't doing anything. Poor Francis. He's like, I'm not even doing anything. Hurry up! Trank the dinosaur! Trank the dinosaur! So cruel. Oh no, it's like point blank range! <laughs> that was really depressing. I am sorry! I'm sorry, Francis. It was for the quest! Alright, so let's explore the world of science. Science credits are used in the science tree to unlock useful upgrades and items for your park. The most common way to generate a science credit is to have the scientists work at the science building or at the presentation. Alright, so buildings, facilities, and we'll put a little science building in if, if I can figure out how to rotate the car. All right. 